Dave Canales now no longer a part of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but sticking around in the NFC South, what are the Panthers getting? Here to help us break it all down is James Yarko from over at Locked On Bucks, breaking down the Tampa Bay Buccaneers every single Monday through Friday. And nobody knows Dave Canales better than this guy. I am your NFL expert here, Ross Jackson. James, as we take a look at Dave Canales departing from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, then heading over to become the head coach of the Carolina Panthers, what exactly are the Panthers getting with a Dave Canales? Uh, they're they're getting a really energetic, passionate guy and and I love Dave Canales and and the personality that he brought to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers but you take a look at what he did with the Buccaneers offense right they finished uh 23rd in total offense with 313 yards per game they finished 17th in passing offense with 224.2 yards per game and then dead last in run offense but you you take a look at the way that the rushing offense developed and, and grew over the second half of the season. So that 32nd finish doesn't really tell the whole story, right? We saw Dave Canales really grow as a play caller, as an offensive coordinator, as somebody who was able to adjust mid game and figure out what the opponent was doing and put his offense in the best situation to succeed. So over the course of the last 10 weeks, including the playoffs, they increased their points per game by more than two each week. And, and you saw the uh, the Baker Mayfield effect where he was starting to get comfortable and, and Canales was getting comfortable and really starting to hit their stride, which is what won them the NFC South and, and got them past the Eagles and into the divisional round much further than what people thought. So Dave Canales is, is going to bring a, a spark. He's a, a great leader. Guys really gravitate towards him and his personality. So it was it was a little bit of a surprise hire, I think. Sure. But when you take a look at, at what Canales can do, uh, it might be the right guy at the right time. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like him as kind of a motivator and 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 kind of you know taking the head coaching role from that position. Then you find the offensive coordinator that pairs well with that, and then we'll see what Carolina turns in. You mentioned his work with Baker Mayfield, going from Baker Mayfield to Bryce Young. Some people might look at that as an upgrade. I think you and I are on the same page. It's potentially a downgrade. How does Canales and what he did with Baker Mayfield, how can he translate that into better development than what we saw during Bryce Young's rookie year? Well, and I think that's a big reason that Dave Canales got this job, right? You take a look at 2022, what he did with Geno Smith, then 2023, what he did with Baker Mayfield. Now you're in a situation where you have a, a young quarterback entering his second season who did not look good, like flat out there. There's no way around it. Bryce Young looked like a bad quarterback last year, and a lot of that has to do with coaching. So they take a look at Canales's track record now as to what he has done with a couple of, I mean, lack of a better term, outcast quarterbacks and sure. turned them into one was the comeback player of the year. One's a finalist for comeback player of the year. So they're saying, look, we need him to do this with Bryce Young. And Bryce Young is a talented guy, but it didn't show up on the field. Now, was that coaching? Was that personnel? You know, what I think you're going to be able to see with Dave Canales is the ability to develop Bryce Young if he has the time. Mm. that's going to be the biggest thing, which is why I thought that this may not have been the right move for Canales when I was talking about it on Locked on Bucks is, you know, he's going to a franchise with the worst owner in all of sports who has fired three coaches in what, like 18 months or, or something ridiculous like that. So Canales has to be able to have the time to develop Bryce Young. Otherwise, it's going to derail Dave Canales' potential future in the NFL and Bryce Young's potential future in the NFL. Yeah, the David Tepper effect hasn't proven to be a very positive one, whether you're on the NFL team or the MLS team that he's a part of. So hopefully Dave Canales does get that time that he needs with Bryce Young. Let's flip the script over to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers side of all of this. This now means that they're out an offensive coordinator. Where do you think the Bucs go next at finding their next OC? I think the obvious choice right now is to promote quarterbacks coach Thad Lewis. That mm. still gives, if they bring back Baker, which I think they still will, um, that gives him a little bit of continuity. It's probably going to be a similar scheme. You're going to be able to bring back Baker, hopefully bring back Mike Evans with, with 
a coach that they already know and that they're already comfortable with. But an interesting name to think about is Cliff Kingsbury who coached Baker Mayfield in right. college at Texas Tech. That's a guy that I could see the Bucs going for, kind of that splash name, that you know, creative offense. It didn't work out for him as a head coach, but as an offensive coordinator, he could really help this offense build on what they did last year and take them to the next level. And I think that's somebody that Baker would enjoy working with. I think it's somebody that Mike Evans would be intrigued about returning to play for and someone that would really work well with Todd Bowles in 2024 and beyond. Yeah. If you're going to bring an air raid offense in, you need a really stout defense on the other side and one that packs a lot of energy could be very fun. What's going to be the future for the Carolina Panthers. You can find that over at locked on Panthers with Julian council and what's happening next for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You can find every single Monday through Friday over at locked on bucks here with James Jenks. Thanks so much, bud. Thanks.